Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today, our hearts are with the family of Lisa Marie Presley. You know, you are in our thoughts, you are in our prayers, and we're going to use these tarot cards to see if we can just get a little bit of data respectfully with the tarot cards. So let's go. I took a look at her immediate chart and I took a look at her whole natal chart and nothing was really jumping out at me. So basically she's an Aquarius. She had her rising sign in Leo and her moon in Pisces. So it, good chart. It's a strong chart, sturdy chart. I mean, moon in Pisces is a little fragile. I would say it's, it's a little tender hearted, but I mean, it's, it's a balanced immediate chart. I looked at the rest of the natal chart and nothing was really jumping out at me except that, you know, along with her moon in Pisces, Mars was pretty close to Pisces, just a few degrees away. But I have that in my own chart as well and in a really undesirable house. You know, it's in my 12th house where addictions can hang out. So, I mean, that's another story for another day. So I was, so the only thing about that is, you know, something like that for Lisa Marie, Mars so close to the moon in her eighth house, which is the house of death, rebirth, transformation, sex, contracts, other people's money. It could, it, it could signify addiction. It could signify someone that might go to war with themselves um, in terms of transformation. So it, it, it could definitely signify struggle with, you know, self exploration and identity for sure. Something like that. So let's start asking some questions. So first off, is Lisa Marie's soul at peace? Okay. That's, that's important. And sometimes for people who cross over, you know, it, it takes time for them to find peace on the other side. So is she with Elvis and her son? God, I hope so. Was this related to drug usage in recent history? So we know she was she was very forthright about, you know, addiction and God bless her. Like that's what needs to happen in order for people to conquer addiction. But like, was she using it in recent history or was this a result of like a history of using? Uh, was she really in love with MJ, Michael Jackson? I, I can't even imagine that. I always thought that was just a PR marriage. And was the family kind of cursed or were they just not able to shake the trauma of the past generationally? Okay, so let's start going. All right, so first off, is her soul at peace? It, it's going to take a little bit of time. So we've got the temperance card in reverse. So she's what, you know, some practitioners will refer to as freshly dead. Like it's hasn't even been 24 hours. Her soul has crossed over. She might still be earthbound. Like that's, that's a thing. That is absolutely a thing. She might be hanging out with her relatives, observing everyone. She might not have fully crossed over to the other side, you know, you know, quote unquote, as they show in the movies, like to the light. So the temperance card upright, you know, one foot on land, one foot on water, shuffling to a substance energy between two cups, bringing things back into balance and harmony. So her soul is uh, still at a place of unrest, I think we can just conclude. And that with a, a young traumatic death uh, that was completely unexpected, so shocking, that not unexpected. Okay, is she with Elvis and her son? Okay, um, I'm, I'm thinking not yet. Okay, that's a caveat. I'm not saying no, never, but I'm saying like, not yet. We got the Ten of Swords. So this is echoing that last idea of like, this is freshly dead. This is the healing process, okay? This is the swords slipping out, the Ten of Swords in reverse, slipping out, and now the healing can start to begin. So I would imagine unification is on its way, but like, we're, we're doing this reading within the first 24 hours, and I would say her soul is still making the transition, and I'm sensing that it's probably still earthbound. Okay, which again, not shocking. Okay, was this related to drug usage in recent history? Hmm, um, not necessarily, not necessarily. So we got the Magician card upright. So the Magician card um, is a card of manifestation. So it's a card that reminds us, hey, you know, your present circumstances were manifested by your past choices. So it's a card of like, you have all the tools that you need to manifest. So here, whatever you want to manifest in the future, start beginning now in the present with all the tools that you need to have. So the magician is pulling down energy from the astral realm with that baton. So to me, this is a card that suggests, no, it was more that her past choices led her to this future, which is taking place in the present. So I, I, this doesn't necessarily mean, 
uh, that it was recent. Um, it may have just been like she, she wore out her body. She put too much stress on her body with opioids and she had long-term health deficits because of it. Okay. Was she really in love with MJ? No, no, she was not. So we got the Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is like manipulation, gaslighting, trickery, behind the scenes, shadiness. So this guy, soldier, is trying to, to take swords from his enemies so that they can essentially win the war. So this is a card that comes up with like dishonesty or people like not really being forthright or, you know, using what they have to control or warp or manipulate a situation. So this is not a true love card at all. This is not even a like, oh, I, I really kind of like you card. So no. Okay. And finally, was the family cursed? Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a little tricky to interpret. It's a little tricky to interpret. So we got the lover's card in reverse. So I would say like, maybe. So here's the thing. The lover's card upright, it's a card of separation. The man, the woman, and the mountain between them. And then we have the winged figure just kind of observing everything as it goes down. So it's not the true love card. It's a card of choices. It's a card that says like, okay, hey, you know, if you guys would like to get closer, you can. You know, you just, one of you would have to make that choice, make that decision. So when this card comes up in reverse, a classic interpretation of it is that obstacles are receding between people. And so we could interpret it that way as just being like, no, like the family just went through a lot of trauma and the trauma is receding generation to generation. But I, I, I also know that the guides can be very literal. And so with this card, I can't help but notice that, you know, in reverse, the winged figure is also, you know, below which could symbolize instead of like a blessing from above that this is a curse from below. So oh, let's pull another clarification card on that, okay? So can you tell us, was the family cursed? Was there a, a curse or a karmic debt that had to be paid off uh, by the Presley family? Okay, and now let's pull one more card. Anything else you want us to know about the situation? Okay, so was there a card? Oh, um, potentially. I mean, this is suggesting we got the Five of Swords in reverse. So this is Five of Swords upright. It's a card of manipulation, not fighting fair, winning at any cost, even if you're hitting below the belt. So mind control, gaslighting, manipulation. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's like all those elements are receding. So when we're asking like, hey, was there a karmic debt that needed to be paid off? It's almost like they're saying like, yeah, like the scales needed to be balanced uh, a bit. And you know, when your ancestors commit crimes, like often their great great grandchildren have to pay them off, you know? Not often, but I mean sometimes. Like if karma doesn't get to enact justice in this lifetime, then oftentimes, oh, I'm getting chills. The grandchildren, the great grandchildren pay for it. So that's just something to keep in mind. Ooh, I just, I'm getting chills when that's happening. Oh, guys, can you like see my arm? Like, can you see the hair standing up on it? That's kind of creepy. Okay. All right, is there anything else you'd like us to know about the situation? Oh, um, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, we got the two of wands. So, you know, what that means is out with the old, in with the new. So I think, keep in mind, like, the human soul is immortal. So Lisa Marie, she's moving on to other things, to other dimensions, to other lifetimes. Like, she's moving on. Like this is the beginning of a journey for her, okay? And that she hasn't forgotten the lessons that she's learned in this lifetime, which is what I'm getting. Are you cool with that, Lisa Marie? All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. Comment below. Do you have any theories? Are you getting any sort of, are you picking up any energies about this situation? So if you are, put them in the comments. As always, like and subscribe. And as always, we'll do this again.